Today I'm going to show you how to get beachy waves, what products I use and how I use the tools. So if you'd like to know how, please keep watching. Hi, I'm Shelley. This is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel that celebrates women in their 50s. And if you're a woman in your 50s, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video. Today I'm going to show you how I go from frizzy, crazy, just washed hair to beachy waves that are really easy to do, easy to wear, and you'll be able to do them too. Give your hair some body and bounce over 50. Okay, here we go. One of my biggest time savers is I wash my hair at night and then I put it in a ponytail, which I did last night. I divide my hair into two, like this, and I twist it around just like that. And what that does is it smooths it out a little bit while I'm sleeping and I just sort of go to bed like that. So when I wake up in the morning, it's a lot less frizzy than what it was last night. So I just pull all that out. And you can tell from last night it was crazy frizzy. And now it's just frizzy. <laughs> I only wash my hair every four days. So that's great. It saves me a lot of time. But every day I'll wash this part of my fringe because I can blow dry that and it freshens up the look. So I'll go and do that now and come back and show you how I blow dry it. Okay, I've just washed my fringe and to do that, I just put my hair in a ponytail, grab this part out and wash it under the tap in the sink. It's, it's really easy. So uh, from there, I add heat protecting oil and this one is Exquisite Oil by Matrix by Large, and it's beautiful. So always put some heat protectant in your hair so it doesn't get damaged. And then this smells so good, but I put this in my hair last night as well um, before it dried, just to give it um, some protection before I put the heating tools on my hair. It's all nice and protected and now I'll blow dry it. So when I'm blow drying my fringe, I always blow dry the opposite way to how I want it to sit because that stops the cowlick. So if I was to, if I like my fringe on the side here. If I was to just blow dry like this, my hair is going to get just like that look. And that's not what I like. So I like to get more body into it. So I pull it this way. So the blow dryer will be going in a minute and I won't be able to speak. But you grab it and pull it to the opposite side to where you're going to wear it. And then, and then you just, I'll show you how to do it. And that gives you more body and bounce. So I just hold that so that the heat can cool on the brush. It'll end up something like that, but I've still got a lot of work to do. So that's what I do at the beginning. And I'm just going to put a little bit of spray in here to hold it for me. I do my fringe first, then I do the curls, then I do something to get a little bit of height here spray and I'm done. So I'd like to tell you about the brushes I use. This is a nano thermic brush. I'll leave a link below but the metal part of it is really great because it clings onto your hair and heats your hair and smooths it down as you're blow drying and that's really good. I use a paddle brush just to brush it I love these paddle brushes. I'll leave a link below for this as well. And for wet hair, I, I never use this for wet hair. 
I would use something like a plastic kind of brush like this just to detangle my wet hair because I don't want to rip it and something like this because it's got the pure bristles in it that could rip your hair while you're brushing it when it's wet the next thing I want to mention with my hair is that I have two um, pieces in here that are extensions I've got one here and another one here so I have these for two reasons the first reason is I used to be a lot more blonde than what I am now and my hair was so dry and it breaks when you bleach your hair particularly when it's my color because red frizzy hair is very breakable and I, I decided that I wanted to stop putting so much bleach so my first decision was to stop going blonde on top and I started just getting thicker blonde pieces in just small areas so that I could add highlight to my hair and the different colors gives me texture so I really love that but I didn't want too much blonde having a blonde tape in my hair gives me the color without doing the damage so that's amazing and I get a couple of little blonde foils at the back but it's very minimal so my hair is a lot more healthy because I'm not bleaching it so much and the other reason I got it is because one day I was at my father-in-law's house hi Tony and I was reading in his house and leaning up against a light bulb of all things an old-fashioned light bulb and my hair was like this and the light bulb stuck to my hair and this whole chunk of hair the whole lot just it was literally stuck to the light bulb this much hair and I screamed and I couldn't believe it I ran out to him and and we both screamed because it was terrible and this took me so long to regrow so my hairdresser said why don't we put a couple of tapes in and I said yeah well, let's try it let's give it a go and it's amazing these are so amazing actually to get a really good feel for how to use them and how to put them in I'll link a video below that I saw of Nadine doing it on her YouTube channel and when she was at her hairdressers she explained how to get the tapes put in and the way she was so excited she was she was beside herself with excitement about how good they were and when I watched it I thought yes that's exactly how I felt when I put mine in I've only got two she had a few more than me but it's it's just like life-changing to have these in because you, you don't have parts missing and you don't have to bleach so much this is what they look like this is a spare one that I have it's actually two pieces of hair just very fine and they stick together so each time you go they can be used up to about 10 times I think or more and they take this tape off and they grab a tiny tiny bit of your own hair so they would just grab a few strands like that and they sandwich these in between your own hair and that's how it works and I can honestly and truly say there's zero damage using these that's it it's that simple this is real real hair it feels great it adds some volume especially when you don't have hair on one side or you're thinning or you've overcut your hair or whatever reason these are great so I'll link the video of Nadine's reaction to hers you'll love that okay so I have a massive frizz problem so the first thing that I do is I smooth this bit down just for to get rid of the frizzes and I apologize I'm looking over here because that's where the mirror is otherwise I'm going to burn my hair so just a little bit there and crazy frizzy pieces here I'm going to um, grab these as well these parts on me never ever 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 grow I don't know why they just don't and check out this frizz 
Whoa. Okay, that's all I'll do for now. And when I'm finished, I'll probably straighten this bit out as well. Oops. <laughs> I just left my plastic comb on my curling iron and look what happened. Okay, I'm going to fix that. To get great beachy waves, it's kind of got to look a little bit messy, sort of, like you've just been to the beach. Um, but it does take some practice to get the curls right. And what I've found is to curl in a few different ways, and that gives you a look that's kind of not perfect. And that's how I like my hair, to not be perfect. So, for example, before I actually start curling, if, if I curl like this, my curls are going to fall a different way to if I curl under. And if you can do different versions of the curls on your hair, you're going to get a really cool, messy, beachy look that looks really great. If you're doing this look for summer, it's a great idea to do a light spray of hairspray. I always use Sebastian Reshaper because this one is super, super light, but it has a great hold, but it doesn't um, leave a film in your hair. And because I only wash my hair every four days, when I use a more heavy hairspray, it builds up. It builds up and your hair feels really dirty. This is the perfect solution for that. So. I'll leave a link where to get this. This is really great stuff. So I just put a light amount of hairspray on and this hairspray holds your curl more. It's just a matter of going into sections and I always leave the end out and I don't put my barrel down like this because I don't want to really activate the heat too much. Now I'm just going to go through and do all of my hair. I do leave parts out because that's the look that I like. And see how I'm holding my uh, curling wand on this angle? It makes a difference to how the curl comes out. It really does. And I, my hair's already had some twisting from last night and that really helps and it saves some time. So I'm, I'm doing all of my holding of the barrel on different angles. This one's pointed down and I'll just, and then the next one I'll go through and I'll, I'll angle it up and put it to the side, like I'm pointing it that way. And again, I'm holding my clamp away from the hair just because I feel that that's less damaging. And another trick that I've found is when you do this, like a smaller amount of hair in the barrel, and you twist it that way, it makes your hair, gives it way more bounce. So you just hold it for a few seconds. And see how that kind of makes, it sort of sits out more. That's a really good way to do it. A lot of people section their hair, but I don't do that. <laughs> I just go random pieces of hair. Now this for me is a lot of frizz in this bottom part underneath my hair. So I hold a little bit longer here with heat and there's no bleach under here as well, which is good because you don't want to put too much heat on your bleached hair and if you do put heat on your bleached hair you've got to put a lot of uh, heat protectant on that just to save it protect it because you've got it forever you've got to keep your hair safe and strong and this is how long I hold it for releasing that clamp and always with my ends out. If you do, if you put your ends in, I'll show you. 
I'll just do a little bit here with my ends in. It kind of looks like you've, you're going to the prom or you've had your hair done and you're a young girl. It, here we go, we'll show you. It's like too, too little girly. So if you leave your, um, if you leave the ends out, it's more like it's just an accident and a, just a pleasant surprise that your hair looks like that. And while I'm holding this, I'm looking for my next piece. Changing direction again. Again, I apologize that I'm looking in the mirror, but I don't want to burn myself. I think that's the key to getting good beachy waves is to hold the barrel in different angles because when I get it done at the salon, it's, I don't like it as much. But the, when I do it myself and I can get it to go all over the place, it just sits a lot better. It sits haphazardly. And I love that. And then I finish off with my top pieces and I will do a big pull to the other side. It's kind of like my fringe. If you push it, pull it to the other side, it gives you more bounce when you release it. It kind of sits out further. See? That's kind of really good. I'll do that the same with this piece. So I'll put it in and I'll pull it that way. The opposite way to that it's going to sit. That's where I'll, I'll direction the barrel. And I'll do another one here. Okay, I just wanted to show you something. For example, if I fix my fringe, if I'm running out of time and I don't have much happening, or if it's really very, very hot and humid and I know that it's going to go all frizzy when I go outside, this is, I'll just do this side and then I'll pull this side back and so I'll grab a piece like this and twist it and then just put some bobby pins so I'll turn it under and just clip some bobby pins in there I will do something else up here but I'm just showing you to say that's kind of done if I just want to go out and look like this and this side I don't have to bother about because it takes too long I can also pull out a little bit here and kind of match it up so that it's got a little bit of curl and this part of my hair has got blonde in it so I'm really really gentle with that part and that's I can bring out a little bit more it's whatever you feel like doing you can do with your hair um, just different ways this is really gentle because of the blonde I can also find a longer piece and I don't want this bit to look curly so I'm leaving that much out. So I could spray all that and then good to go. That didn't take very long. Okay, so this is going to be really boring for you to watch so I'm going to speed it up and do the other side. Okay, so when you get to this stage, you can go through, have a look at your hair and then grab smaller sections of hair just to finish it off. So you've got, you know, like for me, this bit here looks a bit um, flat. So I'll go through and just get a smaller piece of hair and really target a few areas so that the curls can be um, a different size to all the other curls and again if you spray the curls the the curl will hold a lot more so it's just a matter of going through what you've done 
having a look at how you could just tweak it a little bit and I've got a lot of hair so it takes me a little bit longer but for a lot of you this should be quick and easy that's that now I'll go back to my fringe because I'll always fix this up for me I, I like to have a little bit of height here so I can tease that area and what I'll do I get one of these velcro rollers and I just pull this little bit of hair here I put the roller like this this is what I do when I'm finishing and again it smooths out the hair and it gives me a little bit of a lift I'll spray it a little bit and just give it another shot of hair. Okay, by this time I'll be checking out to see if my fringe, if I'm happy with it. And then I'll give it another little bit of heat um, to just set that. That's that. Now this bit here has cooled down. So I'm going to use my melted comb that I showed you before, but that's okay. What I got taught from my hairdresser is that when you tease your hair and um, go like this, it's ruining your hair and because it's right at the um, where your scalp is by the time it's grown out it's going to be all split so she taught me to um, just put the comb into the hair and move it up very slowly and then pull it out put it back in move it up pull it out rather than the friction that you create how I used to tease my hair and I did get lots of breakage so if I pull this out, I'll keep, I'll keep it in that curled position and then I'll just do, you know, like she taught me, to do it gently like this and that gives me a little bit of height that I need and that I like. When you're happy, you give it a spray. And you could, you know, keep going and going until you get, till you get it a certain way. But I'm happy with that. This will last me for four days. And all I have to do tomorrow when I wake up is wash my fringe again and do the whole blow drying the fringe. My curl will hold because my hair is really um, wiry. So I'm lucky in that sense. But you saw what I had to deal with to get that luck because it's so frizzy. If you don't have frizzy hair and your hair's more fine, wake up the next morning and just add a little bit of spray and do a few random curls, shake it up and give it a spray and that's it. So I wanted to show you my shampoos that I use. I've shown you these before. Behave, they're sulfate free. I love them and they keep my hair nice and healthy. And I have to show you this hair mask. This is called Shu Umara Silk Bloom. This is the best one I've bought because sometimes you buy a hair mask and you put it on and it feels exactly the same as your hair does when you put your conditioner on. And that really annoys me because, you know, you spend the money and you want it to really work. So I use this once a week and this is, it lasts me for about, oh, I don't know, nine, ten months. It replenishes your hair with all the moisture that you lose. So, yeah, that's amazing. Um, what else? I use the Evie Professional um, Straightening Iron because it's got the ionic um, technology. And when I actually bought this, my hairdresser put it on his own hair and just held it there for ages and I thought he was going to burn it he was proving to me that this doesn't burn your hair and I wouldn't have let him do that to me but yeah so this is this has been great and I use the bionic curling wand this I bought in the states because I loved the size the barrel I liked this and I don't like wearing the gloves and this has got the heat protectant um, nose on it so you don't burn your face which you do with the other ones with the gloves this is amazing 
If you've got any anti-frizz tips in particular or any hair tips at all, please leave it in the comments below because I love hearing from you. And I'm excited for you to meet four lovely ladies who are over 50 in our community and say hi to them. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I